This is his portrait. And yet he was an artist possessing unparalleled creative energy. Michelangelo came from a very old Florentine family. The second of five children, he was born in Caprese, near Siena, where his father, Ludovico, held... This was the period of his battle between the centaurs and lapiths, where instead of concentrating on the Greek myth itself, Michelangelo brought out its highly charged platonic significance. The image, Michelangelo said, is already alive in the stone block. All the artist needs to do is remove the material. At 19, Michelangelo moved to Bologna, where he was able to study the sculptures of Jacopo della Quercia, is only about 20 inches high. In his work for this church, Michelangelo was already aiming at a synthesis between ancient classicism, the first of Michelangelo's four pietas. This statue was carved from a single block of white Carrara marble. Here, the figures are conceived beyond their realistic forms. At 26, Michelangelo was recalled to Florence to carve the David, which was to stand in front of the palace of the Signoria. He used a block of Carrara marble 14 feet long. Forty years previously, Agostino di Duccio had traced out a figure in the same block. In 1504, Michelangelo found himself in competition with Leonardo when the Signoria of Florence commissioned both artists to paint frescoes in the council hall of the Palazzo Vecchio. The subject was Battles Won by the Florentines. Leonardo painted the Battle of Anghiari and Michelangelo the Battle of Cascina. Michelangelo reluctantly accepted the job of decorating the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel with frescoes. It seems more than likely that he devised the entire scheme of the ceiling himself. The beauty of Eve before the fall seems to hold the ripeness and vigor of the earth. With the flood, Michelangelo exalts the heroic contrast between man left to his own devices and divine wrath, unleashing the mighty elements against him. Among the gigantic figures we see the Inudi, the nude youths, symbols of the pagan classical world. The Inudi were Michelangelo's celebration of the physical beauty of the human body. Three centuries later, Goethe said, a person who has never seen the Sistine Chapel could never form an idea of what man is capable of achieving. The tomb of Julius II, which had originally brought him to Rome on a contract signed in 1506. The statues of the slaves in the Louvre Museum cutting wooden blocks of the magnificent Carrara marble, which today is exported all over the world. exaltation of the biblical patriarch, powerfully expressing his deep spiritual torment. We find Michelangelo in Florence, at work on the new sacristy, which was to house the tomb of Giuliano and Lorenzo de' Medici. Giuliano represents boldness and vigilance. For other commentators, he expresses the willful and violent character of the despot. It's more likely that the figure was intended to express action. Opposite sits Lorenzo, whom Vasari calls Il Pensieroso, the thinker. For other commentators, he represents the prince's meditation. Symbol of fertility. For others, the symbol of sensuality. On the other side of the sarcophagus, we see the statue of Day. Beside it lies Dawn, 
the most sensual image Michelangelo ever conceived. It was while Michelangelo was working on the Medici tombs that he conceived the project for the Laurentian Library. This superbly architectural concept is repeated even more dramatically in his sketches for the fortifications. In 1534, Michelangelo left Florence forever for Rome. Here he formed a friendship with the young Roman nobleman Tommaso de Cavalieri. Michelangelo produced a series of drawings for him, among them the fall of Fife. At 61, Michelangelo began to paint the Last Judgment, the Dies Irae, in the Sistine Chapel. This great work reassumed all aspects of his previous creation and anticipated the work to come. On the right, the helpless plunge to perdition. Below we see Charon, the ferryman, who has crossed the river Styx, bearing his cargo of damned souls to hell, where Minos awaits to deliver judgment. Immediately following the last judgment, Michelangelo was commissioned by Paul III to paint the frescoes in the Pauline Chapel. They represent the crucifixion of Saint Peter and the conversion of Saint Paul. The master was then... The stature of the aging master had now become portentous and revolutionary. This is borne out by the series of pietas he created for himself, like the one... Thereafter, the idea of death became one with the idea of art. His former fascination with the beauty he'd wrestled with so long was now transformed into longing for the serene. He was nearly 90 when he died in February 1564. There are various reasons why Michelangelo left a number of his works unfinished, flaws in the marble or lack of time, for instance. Sometimes it was due to his own dissatisfaction, but more often because his patron had second thoughts, as with the captives intended for the two. It was to architecture, the most abstract of the arts, that Michelangelo devoted most of the last 20 years of his life. While the Porta Pia was under construction, Michelangelo was also asked to transform part of the massive ruins of the Baths of Diocletian into Santa Maria degli Angeli. His work as an architect found its maximum expression in the design and construction of St. Peter's, as well as his new urbanistic plan for the capital. Here the architectural order of broad, flattened pilasters known as Paraste, form what is now called the Giant Order. The construction of St. Peter's occupied almost all of Michelangelo's last years. The time he dedicated to this great basilica is one of the most sublime periods of his life's work. Michelangelo was so in the largest in the world, 690 feet long, However, we only need to walk past the third pilaster to get a faithful reading of the building Michelangelo designed. Michelangelo organized all the plastic components in a single organism. Its elements rise in crescendo to an apotheosis of the mighty dome. In fact, the entire building is epitomized in the dome where it's brought to a triumphant conclusion.